Uh, what's going on, Turbo Nation? So you want to get a nuked out calling card, huh? All right, so nuked out, what it is, if you don't know, is basically getting 30 kills in a row without the help of score streaks in free for all. I know that sounds pretty tough, but today I'm going to try and help you guys out and set you guys up for the best amount of success that you could get. I'm going to show you guys my class setups, class setups that you can use, whether or not you have Dead Silence, because we all know Dead Silence is an amazing perk, especially for free for all. And I'm also going to be showing you guys some strategies and also a little bit of a demonstration of how to apply strategy and free for all to get your nuked out calling card. If you guys don't know what the nuked out calling card looks like, it's going to look like this, as you can see on the screen. So it's a pretty cool calling card, in my opinion. And, you know, it kind of just shows to people that, yeah, I got 30 kills in a row without dying. Now, wait, hold on. The thing that makes nuked out so tough to get is that you have to be able to get 30 kills in a row without dying. So that means that let's say you're on a 25 and 0 streak, right? And then somebody recognizes this and then they say, okay, well, who's this guy on a 25 and 0 streak? I'm going to go kill this dude. And then he does like he does whatever it can to kill you. And then you die 25 and one and that's it. Like you literally have to wait until the next match starts in, it, in order to get it because you die once. And that's it you can't get it anymore but it's okay guys i'm going to try and help you guys out the best that i can today starting with the class setup so i want you guys to copy these class setups these are actually my preferred class setups for getting nuked out all right so whatever i show you guys in this video is all situational okay it's all about play style it's not about running around like your head cut off as if you don't know anything about free for all the spawns in free for all are so bad and annoying you'll have people spawn around you behind you and stuff like that so it's really annoying so you really have to play slow and you gotta really pay attention to the flow of the game and strategize okay it's all about strategy that's how you make your chances of getting a nuked out a lot higher versus just running around and freestyling it you have to understand that you know we're not all pro players okay we're just casual gamers who want to get the nuked out calling card to show off to our friends all right so the first class that i have right here is the cuda now i personally love this class so much it's definitely one of my go-to classes for free for all if i'm trying to get a nuked out now I'm starting off with the suppressor here for an attachment. I don't like being seen on the mini map. If you guys have been watching my videos for a long time now, I'm a stealthy player. I don't like being seen on the mini map. And guess what? When you're in free for all, it's just that much easier to see where the enemies are at. If you're if you're an enemy playing against me and I'm not using a silencer, you are going to see me where I'm at on the map. And that's not a good thing. So, you know, the, they're going to find you, especially if you're playing against good players. They're going to find you, hunt you down and just like that. No more nuked out. So I like to play it safe and get the suppressor. All right. But it's all personal preference. Everything I'm about to show is personal preference. So don't be like, oh, you should just use this. You should just use that. Well, if you want to use this or that, that's up to you. But this is I'm just showing you guys my personal class setups. OK, so then I have extended mags, 30 bullets in the mag. I think that's how much there is, is not enough. But when you have extended mags, you have a lot more ammo capacity and it does help win gunfights because, you know, Black Ops 3, you get a lot of hit markers in the game. So it will allow you to keep firing at the enemy until they finally die. So Extended mags is huge on the CUDA. Now for the perks, this is important. Overclock. Overclock really helps out in free for all. You do earn your specialist ability a lot faster when you put on overclock. So this will allow us to get the combat focus specialist, which is the specialist I want you guys to use. And you see it on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And uh, what the combat focus is going to do is that it's going to allow you to earn your score streaks a lot faster which is the uav the counter uav and the hater and we're gonna get into the score streak setup a lot later but the for perk two i'm gonna put on scavenger because we want to be able to replenish and use the same exact weapon we don't want to pick other weapons up because you know what what if you pick up a weapon that you're not familiar with you're not comfortable with or it has some funky attachment on it and then you're going to put yourself in a situation that you don't want to be in which would end up probably being bad and you're not going to get your nuked out 
All right, so like I said, better safe than sorry. Now, the next perk that we're gonna use is hardwired. Look how many things that it counters. Like, I love this perk so much. I always use it on every single class setup. Most of the time, you'll never see me running without it because it counters so many different things, and that's why I love this perk. So I would recommend hardwired. Now, the next perk is gonna be awareness and dead silence. This is a really good combo, especially in free for all, because the footsteps are a lot easier to hear, especially when you're playing a mode like free for all and a lot of people are just running around the map and the footsteps are a lot clearer to hear and you're gonna be a lot more ready for the enemies and it's gonna translate into easy kills for you and even prevent you some deaths because you're gonna hear enemies coming towards you. And then dead sounds of course to be able to sound whore a lot easier and you're gonna silence your footsteps so you won't get confused between your own footsteps and enemy footsteps and it'll keep you silent from enemies hearing your footsteps. So that's why Dead Silence is a really good perk. Now, if you don't have Dead Silence yet, because Dead Silence is a perk that you get at level 50, uh, I'm gonna show you some alternate classes here in a little bit, but I'm gonna go through my other class setups in case you guys don't like the CUDA. So I have the Weevil here. The Weevil is a really good weapon to use, especially because it has a lot of ammo capacity in it. We don't need extended mags. Now for attachments, I use Rapid Fire, this thing, melts through enemies like it's amazing how much a difference rapid fire makes when you put it on the weevil and then i'm using grip because i want to counteract the the rapid fire so that my gun does not sway as much when i'm firing it but we, you know we're gonna get into the attachments later you know you can always mix and match whatever you want it's just personal preference and then the perks are gonna stay the same so let's say uh you want to stay more stealthy and you don't want to use rapid fire so we can just take off rapid fire put a suppressor on it and bam you're good or you can take off grip and this is where the playstyle comes in handy all right so if you want to play strategic and you want to hold areas down, you won't really need grip. So you can always put suppressor, you could put quick draw, you could put stock, uh, you could even put fast mags, or you can put rapid fire. Rapid fire and suppressor, it still works really well. I know it's a weird combo, but then again, I'm going to show you guys strategies that I personally use in free for all. Because you don't see me engaging in long range gunfights at all that much. So that's why grip is not really needed, but it's there as an option in case you guys want to use it. So you can use whatever you want, suppressor, uh, suppressor, grip, or quick draw. You know, you can use whatever you want. And then of course, perks are going to be the same again, like I said. All right, so for the third class setup is the Vesper. This is probably my favorite class setup right here uh, next to the CUDA. It's hard for me to choose sometimes which one I want to use, but the Vesper has a really high fire rate. So the first thing you want to put on is grip. Grip is very important on the Vesper. You know, the fire rate is just unbelievably high. And then I like to put suppressor. Suppressor does not make the gun weaker at all. It does not. Like I've used the Vesper with suppressor for a long time now. I've even got nuclears with it and and it does the gun good justice believe it or not so uh, then the perks are also gonna stay the same so again you know mix and match the attachments whatever you want play with whatever you're used to but this is my Vesper V will and CUDA class setup now if you don't have dead silence on the CUDA this is what you want to run you want to run suppressor extended mag same thing right and then the thing that's gonna be changing here is you're gonna add six cents you can either add six cents or ghost or flak jacket okay you can pick from any of those it's not gonna hurt you but I would recommend six cents especially with the way that I'm gonna teach you today with how to hold areas down and strategize okay but you know if you want you can use ghost but UAVs in free-for-all are kind of rare I don't really you know get UAVs called on me that often but you can you know like I said you can always have a class setup like this ready in case you know you have to fill out your lobby you have to see what kind of players you're playing against because if you're playing against people who are always constantly calling in score streaks and UAVs in particular then ghost might be a really good option for you and then if you got people who are always chucking grenades at you then flak jacket is gonna be a great option so you kind of have to you know adjust your play style and your classes according to who you're playing against all right so this is the CUDA class setup without dead silence and then here's another one if you don't want to use 
uh, a secondary perk for perk tier one then you could always put on shock charge and c4 these are great this is probably a class setup that's great for more of a beginner style uh you know c4 what it does is that you can plant it down somewhere like the entry of a doorway or like put it on the ceiling somewhere where no one's going to see it and then what it does is that when somebody walks by it's going to trigger an alarm and you're going to know that somebody is there so it's going to make knowing enemies around you a lot easier and then you can do a shock charge as well let's say you're holding down a building and there's two entrances but you want to pay attention to like a, a window or something like that you can always put a shock charge like right outside of the door and then the c4 on the other end of the other building so that way you have more of the area covered down so this is more of like a beginner class setup i guess for free for all if you're trying to get a nuked out it'll help out the players out there a lot better you know if you're you have trouble you know going back and forth between locations but anyways so yeah these are the class setups guys um now now I'm going to show you guys some audio settings for those people with headsets out there. Even if you don't have headsets, this is still going to benefit you in some way, shape or form. You can always use Apple headphones. I used to do that. And then you put it into the back of your monitor or your TV, or if there's a headphone jack, you could put it behind there and it still work the same guys. So I want you guys to copy these settings right here really quick. I'm going to give you guys like three seconds to copy it down, or you can just pause the video. All right. So now I want you to go to advanced volume copy these settings and i'm gonna give you another three seconds to pause the video all right good now you got these sound whore settings down sound whoring is important and these settings will optimize your chances of hearing footsteps a lot more clearer in the game all right, now let's move on to specialist okay i want you guys to use the combat focus specialist because this will help you earn your score streaks a lot faster and you'll probably see a lot of youtubers use it including myself you just get your score streaks a lot faster with combat focus and you only get it at level 21 i believe so it's not going to be tough for people who are still new to the game to get all right so next is score streaks okay i want you guys to run uav there's counter uav and then the hater now the hater is one of the higher score streaks in the game so if you haven't unlocked it yet you're probably sol <laughs> but you know because you're not supposed to use score streaks if you want to nuked out so i guess if you don't have the hater you can always maybe change it something for like the care package you know because care package you might get a chance of getting a hater but you know then again it's better than using one of these streaks here because you're going to end up confusing yourself and you're not going to get the nuked out because you use the score streak so if you do have the hater which is most preferred you want to run uav it'll help you see where enemies are on the map right away and then you want to use counter uav and they're going to be confused because they can't see anything on their mini map and that's what's really good about counter uav and then the hater of course because you'll be able to see where enemies are moving on the map they kind of look like doritos you know what i mean like on your mini map so that's pretty cool and you're going to be able to get your kills a lot easier with the hater let's get into the game i'm going to show you guys a quick little uh run through of fringe just an example but if you guys want me to do more specific maps and show you guys my strategies on different maps for free for all mode let me know in the comments i'll be happy to do that all right so you guys so now we are in the game we're actually perfectly spawned in one of the first areas that i want to patrol and show you guys so the key to being able to be a really good strategy player or whatever you call it is being able to adapt to the flow of the game now the first thing you want to do when you get into this building right here is you want to pay attention to the spawns okay the spawns and your kill feed the kill feed is important now what uh, what i mean by holding down an area is you know you're not going to be sitting in a corner like this okay this is just lame you're just going to get killed you have to be proactive okay you have to be listening for footsteps you got to be checking all lines of sight points of entry here's an example this is a line of sight right there that door that's a line of sight right there that alleyway okay and then you're going to come back over here pre-aim down this corner that's a line of sight right there some people head glitch you're going to see people up there and then people are going to spawn over there look to your left but you have to be careful because sometimes they spawn and they're going to be like over here so that's why it's important to also keep an eye on your kill feed because when you see somebody die on the kill feed it's an indication that somebody might spawn around you so that's a little quick tip for you guys all right so let's say you're on a 10 streak and you're holding this area down really well but the enemies seem to start overwhelming you because they want to get you out of that area so you have two options number one you can either go in through the house over there or you could come this way and come into here so let me show you guys this area first so i'm gonna i would personally come around here when you when you transition you don't want to run in the middle of the open you want to run like along the side of the walls okay i usually just hug the walls and i'm like facing this way i'm facing like this and my eyes are looking both here and here at the same time you know it's called peripheral vision 
All right, so before you enter here, pre-aim, check your corners. You're good, check in here, it's clear. And then you wanna check in here first and make sure it's clear, okay? So there's a line of sight there, line of sight there, and line of sight there. There's gonna be a spawn over there as well, and then they spawn behind that barn over there. Now, sometimes you'll see people coming out through here on that area. You can also head glitch here, but make sure that it's safe because people will spawn over here. Again, check your kill feed. So you're going to come back around here. You're going to pre-aim here. That's a line of sight, line of sight, line of sight. So basically, you're going to make your rounds. It's going to be repetitive, but trust me, you are going to be able to survive a lot longer by doing this method, and it's helped out so many people. I've done videos, many videos like this in the past, basically just running back and forth, checking points of entry, points of entry. There you go. Watch the window. Watch that head glitch. Sometimes people hide behind that truck. So let's say you're getting overwhelmed again. Another okay, so let's cut let's let's transition back here. Hug the wall, pre-aim, check over there that corner, it's good. Now we're good. All right. So let me show you the third house that we kind of come into. All right, so once you're inside here, hug the walls. It's important to hug the walls because like I said, if you're in the middle, you're going to put yourself at risk for a line of sight out there and somebody who might be coming up the stairs here. So you want to stay as stealthy as possible. I like to come in the room like this, right? Before I even look out the window, I always go downstairs and check if anybody's here. Sometimes you'll see people camping there or in that corner. And then I come out here, there's a spawn over there. There's spawns back here as well. So you have to be careful. They're going to be coming in from there into here. So you have to be ready for that. All right, so here's a little trick also when I come up the stairs, hug the walls. You know, I'm facing the area. I'm making sure no one's in here. And then I come in the back, I clear this area out. There's going to be a spawn over there, line of sight, line of sight, right? Line of sight at that window. I would personally not get into a gunfight up here. If you see somebody standing up there, most likely they have an AR or a sniper. And there's a line of sight right there. Some people hang out over there. And then people are going to be spawning, coming in through here, and you can take them out through there. And then you're going to notice a lot of people coming in through this door. So always pre-aim, pre-aim over here. Pre-aim through here. A lot of people come up through over here. So it's getting hectic again. You'll always see me coming down through here, pre-aiming again, and then running the same exact strategy, guys. So it's pretty simple. You know, as far as strategy goes, you just have to get the, the flow of the game down and pay attention to the mini map, uh, the, your kill feed, and all these things will definitely help you get your nuked out. I hope these tips helped out in some way, shape, or form. I hope it helped everything and made the process a little bit easier for you guys and helped you guys understand how to effectively play free for all in order to get your nuked out calling card. And don't forget to drop a thumbs up on this video if you find it helpful and subscribe for more Call of Duty content. And let me know in the comments if you guys still want me to do those, you know, little map tips for every single map for nuked outs. All right. I'll be glad to do that. And uh, I'll be back. Yes.